Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to show you four different techniques on creating underwater backgrounds. And actually this is part of a blog hub celebrating the second birthday of Studio Katia with a new release, lots of giveaways and lots of inspiration and I will be showcasing some of the new products in this video. So this is the Under the Sea stamp set and uh, there are also matching dies available and this is the brushstroke waves also from the latest release. So let's start with the first technique to create an underwater background which is using a stencil with ink blending. This is a really easy technique and uh, you really can't go wrong with that. For this card today I will be using my Distress Oxide inks but you can use pretty much any ink that you have at home that works nice with blending. I'm applying my ink with my blending tools and mixing uh, a couple of colors. I'm actually using Salty Ocean and Peacock Feathers. And I'm switching my blending tools, applying my ink until I cover up completely my card. And I'm going to lift the stencil to see the result. Now of course you can leave your background as it is, but um, I decided to go ahead and apply a second layer of color. This time I'm going directly on my card. I'm not putting any pressure there, I just uh, want to keep of course the design that I got from the stencil, but I'm going for a more subtle look. And since this is an underwater scene, I'm going to add some uh, water splashes. Again, this is Distress Oxide ink, which means that it's going to react with water. I'm going to blot everything and you can see the beautiful result. By the way, I'm working on a watercolor paper on the smooth side of it. So now it's time to work on my focal points, so I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to stamp a few of the fish. I'm also going to stamp um, a coral. I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color everything. I'm actually using my Nouveau alcohol markers to color everything. I'm not doing any crazy blending, just a couple of shades from the same color, since all those images are so tiny, so you really don't need to spend a lot of time coloring there. Once I finish coloring all the images, I'm going to use the matching dies to cut them out. I have also white embossed my sentiment that uh, says birthday fishes and it comes from the same stamp set. I'm going to stick that on top of my card base and it's time to put my card together. For some of my cutouts, I'm using foam squares at the back to add some dimension, but for the tiniest, the tiny little fish, I'm going to use just some glue and stick them directly on my card base. Also notice that I am sticking some of the cutouts coming outside of the main blue background just because I always find that these uh, little details add more interest on my card. I'm also going to finish off my background by adding some little uh, details, some embellishments at the back and Studio Katia has a large selection of uh, these little uh, gems. I'm going to actually use the one that is called Clear Drops and I'm going to just stick them down with white glue. This white glue is going to dry completely clear and you won't be able to see it underneath those little bubbles. And here is a close-up look on how I turned my background into a card. Now let's move on to the second technique where I will be using glitter to create my underwater background. So for this card I'm going to completely cover up a piece of white card base with some double-sided tape. I'm using one that I have from Scrapbook.com but you can use pretty much any double-sided tape that you have at home. So I'm going to cut it in, in size, I'm going to peel off the backing, stick it on my scrap piece of paper and then I'm going to peel off the front as well. Now for this technique you can uh, use any glitter that you have at home. I decided to go with sparkle dust just because it is super fine which means that um, it's going to stick nicely on top of this sticky paper and it's not going to move and create mess when this project finishes. So I'm applying some of uh, this uh, sparkle dust all over my background with making sure that I don't cover up completely the background. I leave empty spots. I'm going to put all the excess back and then I'm going to bring in another color and this time I'm going with white. You can of course go ahead and cover it up completely with the blue glitter and uh, you will end up with a gorgeous sparkling underground scene 
but I decided to go and add a little bit of this um, white one just because it's going to make it look more interesting and it's going to look like you have waves at the background. And also keep in mind that this is a great technique for creating skies where this white can be clouds. To make sure that everything is nicely stuck there, I'm going to uh, wrap my bone folder over it. And again, this is fine glitter, which means that once it's stuck there, it's stuck for good. It's not going to go all over your face, your, your fingers and everything else. Now I'm going to use a die and I'm going to cut out a circle out of this uh, scrap paper and I end up having a lovely background. I'm going for a window card today and I used again uh, cutouts from the same stamp set. I love this hook that I have uh, stuck down at the back and again this is not going to be a shaker card, this is just a window card. So no transparency there. I'm going to stick this directly on top of my background. And I'm also going to stick down the rest of my elements. Now I have already stamped my sentiment that says hooked on you. And I think this is just an adorable card, really clean and simple looking, but so striking with all that glitter. To finish it off, I'm going to add some embellishments. I'm actually going to use the March crystals. These are tiny little crystals in different sizes that I have um, placed randomly on top of my card. I'm going to stick them down. And here are some close-up photos on the second card. For the third underwater background I will be using my watercolors. This is going to be super quick and super simple, but it's going to look awesome at the end. So first of all I'm working on watercolor paper that I have applied some water. And then I'm going to apply a couple of different shades of blue on my paper. I'm making sure that everything is watered down, I don't want to have a very uh, strong color there. This is just a basic wash and I'm blending my colors directly on my paper. Now leave this to dry and you are ready to go. I'm going to use this dye that I had on my stash, but if you don't have such a dye, just use your scissors and create a wavy look at the top. Now, just to make it more interesting, I'm going to uh, mat it with uh, some silver cardstock that I had in my stash. I'm going to place it just a little bit offset, which is going to create kind of a shadow, but at the same time it's going to give some shine and elegance on my project. I added foam tape at the back of this panel and I'm going to stick it directly on top of my card base leaving some white border at the top and at the bottom. Now at the bottom I'm going to stick a, a thin strip of this uh, silver mirror paper which is going to bring everything together with the shadow that I have on my waves. Now uh, this is actually by Nuvo, a product by Tonic Studios. You will find links down below to everything I'm using just like always underneath my YouTube channel as well as on my blog. For this card I'm going to work with a lovely little uh, stamp set also by Studio Katia from the latest release. This is called Celebrate. It comes with a little turtle, a little um, a gift as well as lots and lots of sentiments that you can mix and match. I am stamping the sentiment with the Versa marking and then I'm going to apply silver embossing powder so I bring everything nicely together. And you can see here how wonderful everything shines including the sentiment. Now I'm going to stamp uh, the little turtle from the same stamp set. I'm also going to stamp a tiny little gift. I'm going to color everything with my alcohol markers and then uh, cut them out with my um, matching dies. And now I'm going to connect the turtle with the little uh, gift with a string because I want to give the illusion that as uh, the turtle is swimming in the sea, she is dragging that little gift behind her. And I am securing everything down with foam squares, so I add dimension on my project as well. And for embellishing my card, I'm going to add three little uh, confettis from the Sparkling Sea confetti. And just for a change, I'm not going to stick them randomly as I would normally do. I'm just going to stick three of them in a row. And I'm using a pale blue, a dark blue and a silver confetti.
And for my last technique for today on creating underwater backgrounds, I'm going to use my alcohol inks. This is a technique that I absolutely love. I also have another video on this technique and I will make sure to link to that at the end of this video. Now I have first applied some uh, blending solution on top of uh, Yupo paper and now I'm applying three different colors of alcohol inks. Since my Yupo paper is full of this blending solution, it is easy for me to blow with my straw and force those colors to blend. I'm not going to manipulate by blowing too much, I'm not going to cover up completely everything, I am embracing the white space, so I'm going to leave it as it is to dry. And as this is drying, I'm going to work on my focal points. So for this card, I decided to go with the jellyfish as my focal points. I have stamped them three times and now I'm going to color them with my alcohol markers and cut them out with the matching dies. And again, this is my lazy way of coloring by just using two shades of uh, the same color instead of three. Anyway, now I'm going to move on this uh, rectangle die on an area that I really like from this Yupo paper and I'm going to cut it out, stick it on top of my card base and then I can embellish it with my jellyfish. I'm adding some foam squares at the back and I'm going to stick them in different areas. A couple of them are going to be stuck down with um, foam squares and another one is going to go down directly with some uh, tape adhesive at the back. So this way I have some dimension and uh, some of them look as if they are at the front and others at the back. And since I'm working on Yupo paper, I'm going to do my stamping with black archival ink that it's not going to smudge or smear. And I'm stamping the sentiment that says, see you soon. And to finish off my card, I'm going to also add some uh, embellishments. These are the sparkling crystals and they are just amazing. They are so shiny. I'm just adding some dots of glue in different areas and then I'm going to stick on top different sizes of those crystals. And here is a close-up look of this card and a couple of photos. There are so many more techniques on how to create a beautiful underwater background but I'm going to stop to these four ways with using your Distress Oxide inks and a stencil, your glitter, your watercolor and your alcohol inks. I hope you had fun that you got inspired. Don't forget that this is part of a blog group so make sure to visit my blog and join us. There are lots of giveaways and so much inspiration from amazing designers. You will also find links to everything I used down below in the description area. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.